Hello, and welcome to Atlas Inspection's brief handheld XRF positive material identification analyzer tutorial. For complete operating and maintenance guidelines, you should always refer to the operator's manual. These instruments use X-ray fluorescence to allow users to identify the elemental makeup of alloys and numerous other materials, to determine heavy metal content in soils, to look for lead in toys and other kids' products, and numerous other applications. The unit is simple to operate and provides extremely fast results. It allows for encrypted data capture and for data export. However, it is absolutely imperative that the unit be operated safely to avoid exposure to x-rays. These analyzers contain an x-ray tube which emits radiation only when the user turns the x-ray tube on. When the x-ray tube is on and the shutter is open, as during a measurement, the analyzer emits a directed radiation beam. Reasonable effort should be made to maintain exposure to radiation as far below dose limits as is practical. This is known as the ALARA principle, where ALARA stands for as low as reasonably achievable. For any given source of radiation, three factors will help minimize your radiation exposure. Time, distance, and shielding. First, we'll talk about time. The longer you are exposed to a source of radiation, the longer the radiation is able to interact with your body and the greater the dose you receive. The dose increases in direct proportion to the length of the exposure. Distance. The closer you are to a source of radiation, the more radiation strikes you. Based on geometry alone, the dose increases and decreases with an inverse squared relation to the distance from the source of radiation. For example, the radiation dose one foot from a source is nine times greater than the dose three feet from the source. Remember to keep your hands and all body parts away from the front end of the analyzer when the shutter is open to minimize your exposure. Shielding. Shielding is any material that is placed between you and the radiation source. The more material between you and the source, or the denser the material, the less you will be exposed to that radiation. Supplied or optional test stands are an additional source of shielding for analysis. A backscatter shield accessory may also be available and be appropriate in some applications. Handheld XRF analyzers are used safely every day using these simple principles. But please don't hesitate to call Atlas Inspection at 800-281-0650 or email us at info at atlas-inspection.com with any safety or application questions or simply for more information. Once you're using it, you can avoid costly repairs with proper care of the camera. You should avoid dropping the analyzer and any other high impact events, and the instrument should not be allowed to get wet. For complete care and maintenance instructions, you should refer again to the operations manual. And finally, again, please don't hesitate to call or email Atlas Inspection with any questions or application questions. Thanks very much.